You've been following these tech companies, Apple, for a long time. What part of this announcement is new, is exciting for investors that that wasn't the case a year ago? Well, I mean, what's new is I think you're going to see a little more confidence and strut from Apple. Uh, thanks to the old man uh, icon as well, who stood up there at $500 a share and was buying it and backing Tim Cook. So I think you'll see a little bit of a strut mm -hmm. uh, from Tim. So that should change things. I think he was playing defense. Uh, I think it's his opportunity to finally play offense. And it looks like he was a genius for waiting this long. I think what's different is uh, that uh, they're going to continue to fight it out on the high end. Okay, It's easier for Apple to go into China than for China phones to come into the U.S. They're sticking to the high road. They're bringing in the right. fashion people. Uh, fashion <clears throat> matters. Margins matter. And their retail stores. The same thing I talked about in 2006 on our first Wall Strip. The retail stores matter, especially at global launches like this. I want to go touch the product. I want to talk to people. I want to get great service, and that's where well, the stores are. We are out. absolutely honored to have you on today with your perspective on technology. You've seen, what, 47 product rollouts. Are we just victims and slaves of their hype hysteria, or is there a value to what Corey Johnson in Bloomberg Television and Radio are going to see today? I don't know who this Corey Johnson is, but uh, he's out of Cupertino. You know, it's 3 a.m. Yeah, he's hanging out right now at if, Cupertino. That just shows how, how, but, how little he has going on. But but Corey, Corey is a smart man, and he's right. The, the, this is part of history. When I went to my first Mac World in 05, I was already late to the game. Let's face it, I wasn't there when he was doing the actual turnaround with mm -hmm. the first iPod and, and iTunes software. But it was like, oh my God, we ran to the store to buy this really stupid little, uh, it was on a rope. Uh, the, one of the first little iPods that was on a rope. It was like a, a that you hung disc drive. Yeah, dumb. But we were running to the store. I think those things have probably passed. So there was that, I, I call that peak Steve Jobs. Yeah. Now we're hitting into uh, the golden, the good years of Tim Cook, where he's feeling confident that he's got stuff. He's ready to launch some products. He hasn't been chasing. He's been waiting for the market to come to him. Uh, top of the game, six hundred billion dollar company, best chance at a trillion dollar. Can you company. say he's crushed Samsung? What are they? Got a three I, I, or four quarters in a row of uh, Yeah. Growth. Again, with Samsung, I've never been a Samsung user. I think the product of that. When we look at the iPhone five. And I look at a Samsung next to it, I go toy, and I go magical masterpiece. Look at this product, my kids look at this product, and I go, what would I improve? What really would I improve? So, well, again... he's trying to do that with the iWallet, but here's my question to you. Again, stock twits, I mean, you see every trend out there. You made yeah. a business around figuring out trends. He's got to get the buy-in from retailers who are going to create the, the, the thing uh, where you uh, swipe your iPhone so that iWallet works. I guess is, is, we want is that them. naive to think he, he no, can it's not get naive. He waited while everybody while everybody's talking about watches and TVs. He went after what really matters: payments. Payments. If you look in, in Silicon Valley right now, every day they're funding a payments company, right. whether it be Square uh, or, or or the next best thing. To, to figure out payments, okay? The closest company to figure out payments so far has been Uber. We get in our car, uh, everything's trusted, we pay our tip with it, et cetera, et cetera. Apple's gonna try and create one button solution for all this. It's the one that they should be going for. And they are the ones that are already attacking the drugstores, Disney, uh, Amex, MasterCard, Visa. They're the ones with the heft to pull this off. And that's the company I would trust with my 1% extra payment or whatever it's gonna be. So I think they're the ones to have tried this. And while everybody's looking for TV and looking for a watch, which I don't care about, uh, I'm going to get uh, payments. And that's interesting to me. So payments is part of its ecosystem, but is payments going to be a significant contributor in terms of revenue and therefore profit? I think, hard to say, I'm not a payments expert. I think, first of all, it can be. You're talking about it, the scale that they're talking about, uh, the, that you'd be imagining that Apple can do, because everybody's got this in their hands at every moment. Uh, so I think, yes, it could be a gigantic uh, product. I think it's mind share that matters as well. And I think it's also going to be in the elegance of how they lay it out and how cool it is. Do I walk into a restaurant, wave my phone, and I get treated differently? You know, when Foursquare came out in New York, it was like, oh, I want to be the mayor. Uh, with our iPhones, we are the mayor if they can figure out payments. And everybody knows when we walk in who's the important person. So, you know, I don't think that'll be it today. I think he's probably got some other surprises, but mostly around high end and fashion and beats. I'm really excited about accessories and what they get into. You know, much like Nike, my two favorite stocks, my two favorite Nike. companies. Yeah, Nike have owned for a very long time. They are my data and biotech company. I was talking to Google Venture 
doctors yesterday, and they were like, I'm a life science guy. And I said, I own yeah. a life science stock, too. I own Nike. So between Nike and Apple, I feel like I've got a great handle as an American investor on the trends that are really emerging. Of all the trends that Tim Cook is hitting on with this new product unveil, which one has most resonance? To me, it's going to be, you know, I'd love to see something around the TV. I'm a Netflix person. I'm 48 years old. Uh, my wife and I sit down finally and just go, what's on Netflix? You know, we go, we go, but the remote sucks, the whole experience with all my buttons on you TV. You like Netflix over Apple TV? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Netflix user. So, so I think the experience of Netflix is winning. I think there's still a lot to do in terms of interface and how everything hooks together, and I would love to see that fixed. But, you know, my son, who's 15, and, and, and Tom knows him, knows that my son will come up to me and say, I've run out of stuff to watch on Netflix. I don't know how that's possible. Which, 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 is, why, something. which yeah. is why I was surprised you prefer Netflix to Apple TV, because Apple TV has a lot more offerings. This, okay. this is Howard's world. This is the iPhone 5 with a, a, a package called Hewless, which is like a Rolleiflex. For those of you on Bloomberg Radio, it's out on Instagram. I'll throw it out on Twitter and Facebook as well. I did this while you guys were talking in like Man. 93 seconds. To me, it's all about ecosystem. Yeah, it's There's ecosystem, no other place community, that can do right. this. And then we've got community. So you have so you look at stock to it, Tim. We're growing really fast right now. We don't know why we're doing it. I'd love to tell you how we're doing it, but I, wouldn't, I can't tell you there's any switch we've pushed. Networks have this way if you treat them well, to grow without little help. And so they, they grow. And so like Instagram with their ecosystem, they introduced Hyperlapse, which is a beauty. You've done some Hyperlapses I've seen. It's an incredible yeah. new add-on to Instagram. Yeah, I did them sober. You did them sober, <laughs> which again, I can't wait till you do your first drunk Hyperlapse. <laughs> but uh, Hyperlapses well, we, blow my mind. 